back again and I believe today will be our fifth and final away day before the World Cup. You know, obviously we've got the World Cup coming up and that. But before that all starts and kicks off, we've got one more Premier League game. We are going away to Nottingham Forest. Palace are playing at the City Ground for the first time in nearly a decade. The last time we actually played them, we ended up drawing 2-2 away at the City Ground. Now, it's going to be a very difficult game. Forest, of course, in their last match in all competitions, they beat Tottenham midweek in the League Cup. A very good result for them, considering their awful Premier League form and an awful start to this campaign and that as well. We won't talk about our penalty shootout against Newcastle with, our, with us you know, getting knocked out of the League Cup. But hey, we get to clean sheet at least in that as well. The funny thing as well, and our last four away matches in that we've only lost one we've drawn two and we won our last one which was last week away at West Ham and that of course was our first away win of the season it was a brilliant result absolutely buzzing after that however this is Crystal Palace so we are away from home our away form has not been brilliant this season it hasn't been the best so yeah it's it's the Premier League, anything can happen, you know what I mean? Forest last week, they played uh, Brentford in their last Premier League match last Saturday and got a 2 or draw score and a goal at the last kick of the game. So, yeah, they sort of did what we did in that getting a late goal, getting a point. So, yeah, thing is, if we're playing teams like Forest, you know, you're at, you're, you're at the bottom of the table for a reason. You've got to take the chances, you've got to finish off and you've got to be clinical. I'm hearing news that Otten Edgewide is fit. Zahar will be starting most likely, at least say, hopefully he's not as tired as we can. He did play against Newcastle midweek. And I hope Eze has a good game in that as well. We really need to be up for it today. If we play like we did against West Ham, we'll beat Forest easily. Simple. I'm going to go over 2 1 win. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm confident going into this fixture. I'll be really disappointed if we walk away with no points at all or just a draw in that. You know what I mean? I would really love to see a win. I cannot wait. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be rocking up in the city ground with the Forest fans and the Palace fans. And yes, it will be a good away day, fingers crossed. Come on, Palace. <laughs>
it's over, man. He's got to score. He's got to get on target. It's a good start. Oh, are you? Unlucky. Brendan Johnson, Lingard standing in. He's in the net there. <laughs> oh, he should have scored for us. Poor defender from Palace. Take about Gibbs White, the man who was allegedly meant to come to Palace to take it all off. Out. Oh! Look at that, could have gone anywhere that. Big dog's in. Big dog. Oh. 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 was free. Yeah, yeah. Might be a red card, you know. Lingard was sort of free, looked like he got fouled, the ref, I don't know if he's kicked, he's got a yellow card out when he's flicking Lingard for a tie, but Mitchell looks like he's down badly injured here, it's not looking good. He's still down injured, looks like a bad one. You know, penalty, it's a forest free kick, going to be taken by Gibbs White. Oh boy. Zahar in the terms, a lovely pass to Bamayu and he was clearly tucked back, I can see it from here. I can see it from here. Oh, we'll let him take it already, referee. Bloody hell, man. Come on, you Eagles. Come on. And yeah, it's the same on Palace doing it the hard way. Pretty poor first half to be fair. Wasn't good enough, simply not good enough. We were slow enough out of third. Doing it the hard way as for flipping usual with that penalty. Yeah, I mean, the game's a bit slow. We put call out a couple of times, the ball over the top. Um, we need to pick up the pace a bit. Um, Wilf missed the penalty. I mean, he's in the post. He should have got it on target at least, but you know, you know we'll have to get on with it. But um, most of the half and puff, but they're quite quick up front. But um, we just got to pick up the pace a bit, that's all. I mean, sorry, it's a very deep. And you know, they're just like, I don't know, they're just. They thought they were trying to hit us on the counter. We can stop that from happening. We're weird, but I'll be disappointed if we don't get a ball. If we drop points here. I mean, with a penalty like that, it's the best penalty taker we got after that being the second penalty missing the season, we got big, big problems. Substitution for Forest coming up number 21, Chekou Koyate. The joy is going on. And there's no love for the Palace side for that sub. 
that is one of the worst corners you'll ever get a flip and see. If they score from this, the game's done and we deserve to lose simple. Because that is a disgrace of a corner. That is shocking. Look at the space he's got. Look at the space he's got, man. Come on. Flipping hell. Oh, my days, Palace. Wake up. Should have been 2 0 there, yeah, Lingard. Yeah, I know Lingard. Lingard, man, he's got, he should have scored for Forest. Look, we've got no pace here. There is no pace. The negative way, Lingard's through. Just missed. Should have been 2 0 there. We are absolutely, we're an absolute joke right now. We just don't really have score. We haven't even had a shot on target. I really, yeah, yeah, booking referee deserves it. I think it was Schlipper at least, I couldn't even tell that for a second, but yeah, that sums it up really. So, awful. Five minutes later, then we got a corner. Can we do something for once? the Nottingham Forest defeat and yeah I wouldn't record it straight after the game I kind of left in a hurry because I had to be back for a party I won't lie so yeah I didn't really stick around for long and plus after watching a game like that and us losing in that manner why would you stay after the game and applaud the team because it was an absolutely embarrassing and shocking performance it was a disgraceful performance if anything spending all our money you know preparing ourselves for a good day out and they're going play like that and let the fans down there was a good few Palace fans there as well we're talking about 3,000 it looked like a sellout and that as well so credit to all the Palace fans that went up there facts um if Zahar is the best penalty taker we have got then we are in big trouble I mean Luca is meant to be our best penalty taker one of our best penalty takers with his previous experience of penalties missed one midweek against Newcastle in the League Cup Zahar who is our official penalty taker has missed what his last three He's missed about, like, what, two this season and that as well. Do you know what I mean? It's just not on. It's not good enough. And it really just sums up Crystal Palace as a club. 100% really inconsistent. Just really up and down. Winning one, losing one, drawing one. It's just boring. And the big issue is our squad depth. We haven't got a strong enough squad. We're not as good as we think we are. We're not going to get top 10 with that team. We're not going to get conference league with that team. If pa the Palace fans who are still dreaming about it, that is not happening. Let's be realistic with Crystal Palace. You know, the only, if we were to get top 10, if we were somehow to give it a push for the conference league spots, which is like 1% likely currently right now, we're going to have to really invest in January. We're going to have to get a centre forward. We need to get one Bissaka on a two-year loan. We need um, a midfielder alongside Trek Dekure, someone who's solid and compact. We need a bit of quality in our final third as well there are some players that aren't good enough Schlup, Ward um, I wasn't impressed with Hughes when he came on Edward and Mateta aren't like sharp enough you know what I mean Mateta's gone right off the boil Edward came on it was a bit too late he's not the best away from home compared to him being at home Vieira got his substitutions I mean they didn't really make, make an impact he again didn't get them right tactically he got it wrong you got to question what he said to them at half time if we would have scored that penalty it would have been a different game I reckon we would have won it but Forrest were up for it and they were they were by far the better team you got to credit them they played some really good football on a counter attack you got to credit their fans brilliant atmosphere trying to feel on the train on the way back despite it all being packed and that and the training surface was awful and that they were just talking about how difficult the Premier League is this season how hard it's going to be for them to survive it's going to be a chance for you know for Nottingham Forest currently to get out of the relegation zone and that but yeah I mean listen they're not they're not going down without a fight I'll tell you that no game this season you're not guaranteed you know to beat a team 6-1 it's going to be hard it's no game this season's easy it's the Premier League do you know what I mean it's not like when you have Watford and Norwich like last season they were already down by Christmas as you know it's all or nothing it's all or nothing to lose for all the teams down there including us so we've got to be really careful but we got to invest in January simple as and that as well so yeah um, thank God the Premier League is over for six weeks as the World Cup which I'm sort of not looking forward to but at the same time I kind of want to see how it goes so it'll be interesting to see how that goes I've got some content planned for that 
But yeah, make sure to like, share, subscribe, bro, to 3K subscribers. I'm happy the Premier League's over now. We need a break. Palace need a break. Palace need to start thinking about buying players in January, like I said. And I'll see you lot in my next video. So yeah, real disappointing defeat. Shocking performance. Things need to change big time in that squad. See you lot in a bit.